So welcome to the team call. Thank you guys for all making it live. It's always so useful if you can make it live. I know it's August prime time for holidays. I think a lot of people are away, but um, today we are just going to run through the usual. Um, and then hopefully I'm going to help you guys with something that helped me so much. And actually it took me way too long to roll with what it is I'm going to share with you guys today. Um, so let's just move through. I haven't muted you all, so hopefully, you know, if you're noisy, can you just make sure you mute yourself? Because now I've got this screen up, it's a bit difficult. So noteworthy items, nothing's really changed here since last week. If you were on the call last week, um, vegan vanilla became available for us on August the 10th. Um, I have made corporate available that actually I can't seem to find a drop down for the vegan vanilla. So apparently it's a glitch and they need to get the button re-added. So if you're having that struggle, um, let me know. If it's resolved already, let me know because I have actually haven't checked for a couple of days. Um, and obviously the collagen came to the UK um, earlier on this month. I am having it every day and actually I think my skin is more plump already. So I don't know if you guys have tried it, but I think it's really reasonable for what it is. I think it's like, I think it's like 30-ish quid. It's, it's not a lot of money. So um, that's definitely something for you guys to try. And if you've got customers, um, coaches who, you know, who want to give it a try, I know a lot of us are all into the skincare these these days and looking after the body inside to out, which is obviously what collagen is all about. Um, pre and postnatal bar, I mentioned this last week, but I think definitely, oh, it's in the drop down now. Thanks, Shania, that's amazing to know. Um, pre and postnatal bar launched at the beginning of this month, just straight into the bod platform. And I know we've got um, a few people on the team who are very much mummies, very much target that kind of market. And I know certainly I've had people who've said, ah, oh, well, you know, the only pre and postnatal program you have is one program, but now we have two. And I think it really does change the game for us in terms of our offering for pregnant women or women who've just had babies. Um, so, and VAR is incredible if you haven't done it anyway. We've then got the launches coming up. So obviously we're here, August. Um, I'm in the test group for the relaxation and meditation group. So it's actually going really well. And what I've noticed, like I know a lot of you guys do the meditations from YouTube, which I absolutely love. The one thing that I would say with the test group um, meditations is that it very much teaches you, it tells you what the meditation is going to kind of resolve or work on but they don't talk the whole way through, which typically I'm always like, oh, I can't do meditations unless I've got someone like guiding me through the whole time. And it's made such a huge difference. I'm really excited for that to launch. It's gonna be a 21 day meditation program. So it's probably gonna be something we can run alongside like MBF or the 21 day fix, which is super cool for, you know, helping people with mind and body, which is, you know, I think a lot of you guys are huge advocates of that here. So a 30 day breakaway coming in October when I have more news on that, I'll let you know. But as I always say on this call, if you want to be aware of what's going on and you want to know how I'm getting hold of this information, please be your own leader. Please be that person for yourself. Log into your coach office, look at the noteworthy items, which is like literally in the grid below your kind of um, dashboard. It's going to tell you all the updates for your local region and anything you need to be aware of. So um, pretty much everything you could ever possibly want to ask me a question on about Beachbody, you can find the answer to on coach office. Um, and then we've got Control Freak launching in the winter. I'm not even sure of the date actually yet, but I am unbelievably excited for that um summit i'm not going to go through all the lists but for those of you guys who are new on this call this is the annual event that's hosted in the states once a year it was meant to be in new orleans this year but it got cancelled because of covid and we have quite a lot of uk girls going a lot of girls from canada and america so it's going to be an amazing opportunity for us to all get together for those of you guys that are brand new coaches someone like shania here um you want to hit success club starters three success club three out of your first six months so that you get the ticket for this for free um which is awesome so that wants to be your goal i'm just going to quickly go through this um obviously donna's not on the call now she very much kind of leads her own team which is just honestly incredible to see and it's always the dream and wish that i have for every single one of you guys if indeed you want to build a residual income you want to build this business to potentially six or seven figures then building a team is absolutely where you're going to do that you can earn good money helping people get started as boot campers and everything else but if you're serious about turning this into a like serious serious viable 
badass business, you want to be going after building a team. Okay. And this is what Donna's done. So Donna, um, I'm just going to briefly chat through the road to elite. I've put the FAQ up there. And I think it's really important for you guys to start to become aware of that, right? You know, what you focus on, you create more of. And if you're not even aware of the road to elite, then chances are you're never going to be on that path. And it's not typically something I've mentioned, but actually it's really important. It's how you're going to build an amazing business. It's how you're going to have a super fun team for yourself, if indeed that's what you want to do. So um, on the road to elite, you have team builder, then team leader, then premier, and then elite. It is done every year. So you scratch the slate clean at the start of the new year. Um, and it's really just about how you're helping other people get started. Are you helping them help someone else? So someone like Shania has helped a couple of people and that has given me points on the road to elite. But I just want to share with you guys because specifically for me, for you guys that are in my downline, which all of you guys are, I want you guys to know that I have every single point from you guys working as a team to be an elite coach already this year, which means that when you guys get, you know, um, success club points or you become an emerald or you hit success club, that helps me get more points. But because of the phenomenal team we have, we already have enough points to be elite. The only thing that we are missing to be elite is two further diamonds. And I know, like, as you will see, like, we're almost there with a couple of people. So it's, I have a feeling we may well go from team leader straight to elite, which is just super, super exciting. And Donna, huge congratulations, Donna. She's really stepped into her stride this year. She's, she has, her background is marketing. Um, she has a very, um, different way of leading, but I have huge respect for her because that's what I want to see. People who find a way to make this business work for them. And just because you see me work my business one way, it doesn't mean that that's exactly the way that you're going to need to operate yours. Okay. Um, that's the joy of this business. So the book of the week, this is just a book that I've started listening to. And actually it's a book that a lot of, um, books that I listen to, like personal development books or thought leaders like Josh Coates. Um, it's not the first time I've said some, I've heard somebody say, if you haven't listened to Think and Grow Rich, you really need to listen to it. And I must have heard it probably about the seventh time the other day when Josh said, if you haven't listened, and I just thought this is like possibly the seventh person who said that this book needs to be read. So I've downloaded it. I'm listening to it in Audible. And I can, I can tell you guys that one, it is not a book that you can listen to whilst you're doing loads of other things. It requires a lot of concentration, but it is literally straight fire. I sit there with a pen and paper and sometimes have to rewind so that I can actually get the, the words down that he's just shared. So it really gets your brain ticking. Um, and basically he says, your success in this business, long and short of it, is built in faith, in your blind faith and your blind wish to succeed at your goal, no matter what the cost. Um, that's kind of what I've got from it so far. But, you know, I think sometimes a book like that is just so needed. So I was really, really um, overjoyed this week. We had so many of you guys share your trackers. And for those of you guys that are new, um, your tracker doing that every day consistently aligned with having a clear vision and a clear why is absolutely going to help you see the most phenomenal success. And so it's really wonderful to see like new coaches and more seasoned coaches on here, really going for it with the tracker. So we have Gail, Tasha, Imogen, Shannon, Laura, Charlotte, Elaine, Marta, Joe, Haley, Rebecca, and Stephanie. And the winner this week is Shannon. Um, I don't think Shannon's on the call. She's just having Sunday lunch with her um, family, but I will get those vouchers sent to her. And Joe, I need to get yours sent to you. I messaged you just before the call because I realized I haven't done it. So <laughs> just let me know what vouchers you want. But um, for those of you guys that are new, within the first month, you're going to get one-on-one -on -one calls with me. But really just so that we have a team where I'm working with the working, after a month, you're going to need to complete your tracker and submit it weekly so that we can do one-on-ones. It's just so that I can make sure I'm working with the people who are putting in the time um, and the effort, but well done guys. That honestly is amazing to see. Um, Emerald coaches, we have, well, we have Laura who is officially an Emerald coach. She was on this call this time last week and she'd been having like a really hard time. And the call I did last week was all about mindset and everything else. And something I said in that call, 
clicked with her. And I'm not saying like, it's always going to be something I say, but I really do believe with this business. Sometimes there's something that someone says, it might be me, it might be a personal development book, it might be another coach and it makes you click and it makes you run. And that's exactly what happened to Laura. And literally she got off the call on Sunday. She was like, I have not stopped since I got off the team call. I've been doing my vision all night. My husband wondering what the heck I'm doing. And by Wednesday, um, this week, so three days later, she had gone emerald. She had just made the decision that that's what she wanted to do, that she was going to do it, um, enrolled a control account and one of her best friends as a boot camper. And Shania, um, super proud of you. Literally, I think you're what, nine, 10 days a coach, um, enrolled her control account earlier on this week and just enrolled her best friend who potentially wants to coach at a later stage. So I'm super proud of you. And she will be rank advancing to an emerald coach on Wednesday. So Probably one of the quickest I've seen done there from enrollment to going Emerald. So well done, Shania. Um, so closest to Diamond, Charlotte is like, it's literally like, I feel sick. It's so exciting how close she is. She thinks she's half an Emerald on one leg away from Diamond, which is crazy. Donna just slipped out of Diamond, but she's just got to get half an Emerald back on the other side. And she's back to Diamond. And Ginny, I think is three coaches away. Marty's very close in Guy's Business Center, as is. Tasha. So this is just for you guys to see. I don't want to overwhelm you guys who are new, but really just so you can understand Emerald is these two and to go diamond, you would have four each side and one each side needs to be Emerald. So really, you know, I would just say, I think a lot of the time people are like, but well, you know, I don't know loads of people that want to build a business. Most times, certainly for me, you can build a diamond with one working coach. And that's what I did because all the rest were discount coaches. So it's just a case of enrolling everyone as a coach. Really, I enroll everyone as a coach because it's in their interest to be enrolled as a coach. If they want the product, they're saving money. And if they don't, they just cancel it off. So that's really just the way that I run my business. And I know um, it can seem like a huge goal, but actually when you think of it like that, it's super, super simple and really just gets you opening out to two star, which is where you really double your income, guys. That's where I reeled back on PT classes, fitness classes, and just really went all in on this business. So, yeah. And the Diamond Retreat, 23rd to 25th of October. Um, you need to be a lifetime Diamond rank or above, um, which means you need to be a Diamond by the 10th of September. So it's coming super close, and those guys are like really going for it now. So I'm so excited for that um success starters just quickly so shania you can see here just um i know you're kind of new and um, these are the guys that have hit success club in the first month you have six months from starting to hit success club three times to be a success starter it used to be that you had to hit it in your first three months which i literally did by the skin of my teeth but it i'll be honest it wasn't that easy so it's much um nicer kind of reward from beachbody you get your free summit ticket and you just need to hit success club three out of your first six months um so we have joe gail becca and Haley, who still have the potential to be a success starter and they hit it in their first month Hayley's very close on her second month. Um, she's at Success Club 4 at the moment. And then we have Hayley, Shannon, Sam, and Zainab, who hit Success Club starters month two. So they're going for it for month three. And here is the Success Club board. So for, again, for you guys who are new, if you help somebody with a challenge pack, whether or not it's a customer or a coach, you get two Success Club points. So Success Club 20 is 10 people. So essentially we are changing lives. Um, so here's the board. So I'm at 20. Charlotte is in at Success Club already. She's really like straight fire. Um, that diamond is in her sights and I know it's a non-negotiable for her, for her birthday. So I'm super proud of her. Helen in Lisa's downline to Success Club, which is awesome. And then Haley um, is in at four. Tasha in at four. Laura Bates in at four as a new Emerald. Shania in at four. Um, will be a new emerald and then in it too we have Chelsea, Louise, Laura, Taylor, Taryn, Shannon, Alex, Charlotte and Stephanie and we still have over a week to finish the month and guys if you're not even on here yet don't worry like literally you can hit success club in two days like as long as you have got your wits about you you know what you're inviting people into and you've got an executed plan I can promise you it's possible. And I'm going to cover that off today, actually. So before we go in to talk about the marketing calendar, um, I'm hoping that we're going to have a little bit of time to do a little power um, pocket at the end of this. But I wanted to just cover really what I do and what really helped me when I was 
kind of that newer coach moving into that transition of, do you know what, Izzy, it's time to pull your finger out and be super intentional because what you're doing kind of floating willy nilly between your bat and just being really relaxed and laid back about it and taking all day on it is not the way that you're going to reach your goals, right? So it was a case of me kind of calling myself out on, am I really, if I hand on heart, look at how I'm executing my business, am I treating it as a business or am I just take it or leave it? Like I'll just take all day to do this or it doesn't matter if I do it or not, because I can promise you if you have that mindset going into any power hour, it won't be effective and you'll drift. And this is why having a clear vision and knowing why you're doing this stuff is so fundamental because unless that's clear, you'll get into a power hour and you'll drift all over the place. Okay. So what I do is I set timers. Okay. So, you know, I execute my bat. I do obviously a lot for the team now as I built a bigger team. So I do the bat and I do a lot of other stuff in the day. So really for me, like timers are fundamental and I will set timers on tasks. So say I want to build connections. I have 20 minutes to do that. And for invites, I don't time myself, but I used to, okay? And I used to time myself on invites because I would find myself doing this, which is possibly what some of you guys do. Looking at a page, mm, I'm not sure they want to in that, invite that person. Maybe they'll be, in, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe they won't. Yeah, if that's you, okay, I'm going to call you out now. You've got to stop doing that, okay? Procrastination on that is going to kill your business. So what I do is anybody that has followed me back or liked my post, or is a new story watcher, I have an A4 pad, okay? So today's date goes at the top. And as I'm going through the people who've liked my post, or watched my stories, or have followed me back, which is written on the back, says like, um, respond to new followers, um, story watchers, and, and likes, that's what that is. I write down their IG handle and I send them an initial message. And the initial message I send is always the same or very similar. So that again, when I'm doing that power block of time, I'm not faffing around wondering what the heck to send anybody, right? It's really cut and dry. Um, you know, I'm on their page or they followed me back or they've liked my stuff or they're watching my stories probably cause they're my kind of person. Right. Um, so Hopefully my connection's okay. My internet connection was unstable, which is not filling me with confidence. Um, can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, okay, good. Um, so what I send is, hey, whatever their name is, thanks so much for liking my post, watching my story, following me back. I really appreciate it. Um, often it's just, I love your page, or if it's something particular, I will mention it like if they've got a little boy my age or they've got kids or they're in the photos I'll certainly mention that are you on a fitness journey too if it's clear that I can't see they're on one and obviously if they're on a fitness journey ask them don't ask them um are you on a fitness journey too because they'll just think we haven't even looked at their profile so how long have you been on your fitness journey and then when it comes to the next day to do invites I am literally I've got that list of people I've sent an initial message to and that's the list and I send the invite and my invite is not oh I'll invite that person to coaching and I'll invite that person to the boot camp now honestly hand on heart that's up to you but the reason why my invites don't flow like that is because I'm very intentional about the way that I market my calendar right I am not always offering the boot camp and I'm not always offering the coaching I have two set periods of my month I have two weeks in my month where I am calling to action my boot camp. Then I have two weeks in my month where I'm calling to action the coach opportunity. Okay. And it's actually really interesting because there's a coach that was on the national wake up call on Monday. If you didn't watch it, it was amazing. Um, and she was talking about how she actually gets her whole team to, to, to literally follow a marketing calendar that she prescribes for them. Now, I'm not sure I'd want to prescribe to you, right, guys, first two weeks, you have to do boot camp. First two weeks, you have to do coaching because quite honestly, you might be on holiday. You might have things in your diary. And that's something that is really fundamental, guys. If you're going to start calling to action something like a boot camp, say it starts the 15th of September, if you're going on holiday on the 15th of September, or you know that you're going to be really busy with your, like, your full-time job for whatever reason, that's not a good time to be planning to get people in. Okay. So I want you guys to really be aware of that. 
But what I can promise you is that when you get really clear on the marketing calendar, then when it comes to inviting, it's like, okay, cool. I'm in bootcamp mode. Okay, bam, 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 bam. I'm just going to send off my bootcamp invite, okay? And I'm just going to um, share mine because I've been sharing it. Um, so... I can put this in, I'll put this in the recording. When I've done the recording afterwards, I'm going to read it out. You, a lot of you guys have heard this before, but I just thought it was really important to just really understand perhaps if you're not hitting those parameters with your business, why? Um, so Maddie, I actually wanted to drop you a message because I'm about to launch my brand new virtual gym series for August. And I thought you might love it. If I got you some more details, would you like to learn more? If I do X, would you do Y? No worries. If not, I just wanted to ask, as you seem like my kind of girl, Izzy. And that's my kind of, you know, that's my kind of voice, right? You can tailor it to your needs. But it means that when I'm coming into that invite phase, I've got the list of names. I'm not faffing around on Instagram trying to work out, oh, I, oh, that person, I haven't sent them. I'm at, you know, it's organized so that it's organization so that it saves me time. So then the next day, I know I'm inviting them to the boot camp. I'm calling it to action in my stories. And so when the invites received by them, they're like, oh, that's the boot camp Izzy's been talking about. She, that's the boot camp that's going into prep week on the 23rd of August. And she's got two spots left, you know? So really think about if you're inviting people, I want you to call yourself out right now. If you're inviting people to anything and you don't have something you're advertising or talking about in your stories with a set date and a set name, please stop it. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. And I tell you that because I've been that girl. I've been that girl who never, ever scheduled out boot camps, who never, ever scheduled out sneak peeks. It was always running. It was always available, right? Having availability of something all of the time is really unappealing because people know there's not a deadline. There's no FOMO. They, they don't need to worry about missing out, right? Because it's always available. The moment that you start to be intentional and say, right, do you know what? My boot camp's going to start on the 15th of September. This is just an example. And I'm going to do MBF and I'm going to call it X and I'm going to go into Canva and I'm going to make those visuals and I'm going to own it. Okay. What that does is it gives you confidence in what you're inviting to. It gives you excitement because it's yours and you own it. It's not someone else's boot camp. Okay. And it gives people confidence in you so that when you're inviting them, they get the invite and they see that you're calling to action and you're talking about it. This business won't flow and work unless we've got that going on. And I learned that the hard way. And I just don't want you guys to scrabble up a wall wondering why maybe this person doesn't want to join and they're not ready and it's not the right time when perhaps it's because you don't have clarity and they don't have confidence in what you're going to offer them because it's not clear. Okay, so you, remember it's your shop front, it needs to be professional. Um, so when you're doing your power hour, just be really like, try and tune your mind into, right, now, as I said, like if I'm doing invites, I'm doing invites. If I get a message in Messenger, I'm not gonna check that till I'm done, right? Do you flit and change between one thing to the other? Like a message comes through, you're like, oh, quick, check it. Because if that's you, and again, that's been me, what happens is you, you start doing a task and you're pretty productive. This is like a known scientific fact. You're pretty productive. So you're like this, right? But every interruption that you have, your performance drops. Okay. So if you're going to let a message come in, and interrupt you, oh, that person's message, but that message is your, your performance drops. Okay. So to do that task, where perhaps someone's saying, it takes me 10 minutes a day to do my invites. And you're sitting there going, I don't understand how that takes them 10 minutes. Think about, are you doing all of those things? Because I can promise you this business is easy to execute in small time pockets. It just takes discipline and it takes self-awareness here of, do I have an intentional plan of how I'm inviting and what I'm inviting people into? Um, and, and this is something like, I know, you know, for me now, like Arthur goes to preschool and he goes to school in September, which is great. But obviously in lockdown, that was not the case. And um, when I started this business, like you guys, I was working three jobs. I was teaching eight classes a week. I was teaching about eight to 10 PTs. I had Arthur in preschool or nursery two mornings a week. And I was a full-time mum. other than that. And I was damn well going to make this business work, but I was super flexible and I was really intentional. I got that bat out and I would break it down almost like one task at a time because that's the, I only got like 10 minute blocks. So 
pull yourself out. Are you saying like, I can't do these tasks because I've got a full-time job and it's too, this business is built to be built with a full-time job. Okay. So just think about that. And you know, we get sent curveballs. We all do, whether or not we're a mum or not, whether or not we've had a really stressful work day or week, we are going to get thrown curveballs, which means that our intentions with the bats for all intents and purposes are always going to need to be flexible. Um, and I think it is just having that mindset of control the controllable. Okay. That threw me off. Where can I pick up the time somewhere else? You know, I'll get thrown off a lot, but nothing is going to stop me getting that stuff done. Yeah. So just, I thought I would hopefully be helpful. Right. So this was, I've kind of done this back to front, which is um, not the way I intended to do it. It doesn't matter. Um, so the importance of a marketing calendar, it gives us clarity on what we're inviting people to. I'm just going to share this. I've shared this on several calls, but just so you guys can see, this is an Amazon calendar. It's the 2020 marketing calendar. It's an 18 month promotional calendar and planner. And it's literally just an Amazon one. It doesn't even have a brand, but it's got <clears throat> double pages in it. And again, like it might be that you guys have this and maybe you've drifted and you haven't been doing it. And I can promise you that's what will make the difference in your business. So here's the double pages. Yeah. And I just put in, right. So my bootcamp starting on the 16th of March, say then on the 2nd of March, two weeks before, I'm going to start talking about it and inviting to it. And then once that starts, Come like the 18th, so two days after it started, I'm going to start inviting to coaching and start having my mentorship and coach academy visuals and talking more about the coaching in the way that I post. Okay, so when we've got a clear marketing calendar, it gives people clarity on what we're inviting to. If we don't have a marketing calendar and we don't give clarity, people are going to say no, non stop no. It gives you confidence in your own ability, and that is something that. Again, when I was newer, I would, I would hand on heart, honestly, I would just like drift to a boot camp and they'd be like, oh, my boot camp's really lost steam now. Maybe I should run another one. And that would be like a two month period. And that's why my success club wasn't consistent or I found it really hard to hit success club because I didn't have a boot camp available every month. So of course people are like, okay, hey, cool. That invite is great. What does it look like? Where's your boot? You know, so just call yourself out on that because I promise you it'll completely change your business. It gives others confidence in our ability, right? We're talking about something and then they trust us because they can see actually, oh, she's talking about it, showing what it looks like. Oh, and that's her boot camp. And guys, it doesn't matter if you've got two people in your boot camp. I started with two people in my boot camp, but I kept going, even if the energy was bad. I was like, right, the energy's bad. I'm going to hit Success Club again this month because if I don't, the energy in my boot camp is going to be absolutely S H I T. And I'm not doing that for my boot campers. I'm going to get more for them, right? We need new energy every kind of week, month minimum to really drive those boot camps. Okay. And that's the fundamental importance of it. So without a clear strategy, we're standing in the dark and hoping to hit goals. And that's absolutely it, right? If we don't have a clear boot camp, we are just drifting. We're going, okay, cool. Well, it doesn't really matter if they want to learn more or not because I don't have a boot camp starting. So I'm under no pressure myself to fill the boot camp because I've not taken responsibility, right? So just really making sure that you get that marketing calendar out and you go, right, come up with a really fun name. Like, I think that's all part and parcel of it. In the beginning, I used to come up with all kinds of different names and, and actually it's so fun. Um, so think about the commitments you have in, the, in your life for the month and where is the best place to start them, right? And again, like I've been that girl. I'm like, oh, I'll do my sneak peek then. And like then happens to be like the worst possible time, but I haven't thought it through. And then it's an absolute, excuse my language, shit show because I just don't have time and I don't have the energy. And then I'm really disappointed that I didn't get anybody over the line because I actually wasn't there to be on it in my stories, be showing who I am, you know, and everything else. So just really think about that. I'm just going to check the time actually. So I think this leads us on to the power 20. Yeah. So what we're going to do, and I know we've done this before. A lot of you guys have done this with me before, but hopefully it'll just be like really useful for you guys to do. I'm going to stop sharing now. Um, is I am going to, what do I put my back here? So what we're going to do, okay, is 
we won't start with initiating connections and followers because hopefully you guys have watched how to initiate connections and followers now and you know how to do that. So I'll briefly cover it, but I think it'll be good for us to send like actual messages today. So to initiate connections and followers, what I do is I go to find a hashtag that is my kind of person or I find an account that's my kind of person and go into their followers and follow their followers and like and comment on a few of the posts, okay? At the moment, it's Team Cup Month. I'm following about 70 people a day, not all at once, but that's what I'm doing. I'm doubling my actions. Um, but leaving authentic, genuine comments and then going into the regular feed, you know, where people's posts appear on your feed and liking about 25 photos. So we're not going to do that now just because that one's kind of the simplest of all. But what you're going to do now is if you haven't done it today, um, and if you have done it, then maybe you can initiate connections or do something else on the back you've already done. But you're going to go in to your Instagram. Okay, you're going to look at your followers and the followers that appear at the top are the people who've most recently followed you. Okay, so you can either do that or go into a recent post that you've done and go through all the people that have liked your post and find the people that you haven't already engaged in conversation with. Um, and also in your story, same story. Okay, so you're going to go in. But who's that on? Um, you're going to go in and find the people that you haven't already engaged with and you're going to send them an initial message. So you're going to send them, you don't have to do exactly the same as me, but I'm just teaching you what I do. If you've got another way that you engage and create connections, great. And what I do want to say is that what works for me might not necessarily work for you. So if I'm telling you that's how I build connections and you really don't like the idea and it doesn't sit right with you, don't do it. I always ask them if they're on a fitness journey or how long they've been on a fitness journey because my background is fitness and I'm ultimately gonna talk to them about fitness. Anybody who joins us, right, they really do need to enjoy or at least want to be on a fitness journey. So that's, that's the reason why I do it. Um, and I know quite a lot of top coaches do that as well. So it works really well for me. So you're gonna send them a message, you're gonna send them, hey, whatever the name is, thank you so much for watching my story, liking my recent post. So comment, compliment, question. I love your page or your dog's really cute or whatever it is, like something you connect with. Um, how long have you been on your fitness journey or are you on a fitness journey too, okay? And I'm literally just gonna set the timer. Let's just do seven minutes because I reckon you can get quite a lot done in that time. Okay, three, two, one, go. And any questions, just pop them in the comments.
Okay, so we're going to stop there. And then let me just send you in here. Um, hopefully it's helpful for you guys. We're going to do some invites um, just to really take action on that stuff. Hold on. That's one. Um, That's just another variation. Okay, so hopefully you've got a list of people from the previous day that you can invite. If not, just go off, you know, the way that you have been inviting, but really like I strongly recommend adopting the strategy I've explained because it makes inviting take 10 minutes. It's just that little bit that you need to do the day before to make a physical written list on an A4 sheet of paper of all the people that you've initially connected with so that then the next day, whether or not they've replied, you could, you've just got an invite that you can send. If you've got into conversation with people and then the next day comes and you're like, oh, that name's on the list to invite, you can obviously invite in the way that feels right for the conversation. But at least you, you, know, you can just take action without procrastinating over who am I going to invite? Where are they? Are they in my followers list? Or are they story watchers? Or, and that takes ages okay so um and, and the other thing i would say is like if you're a certain way along with your business definitely get an online tracking system you really don't have a business until you have a tracking system i'm not going to go in that into that today but um streak is is definitely the one that i use you can also use flowdesk actually apparently now but streak is really good um there's lots of trainings on it okay i'm gonna set the timer okay let's do let's do seven minutes three two one off we go and any questions just honestly just ask um
just three more minutes, guys. Izzy, I have a question. Yeah, go um, ahead. So the t I had two girls that watched my sneak peek and were like super excited. They got back to me. They're like, they asked about like the challenge packs and stuff. I sent them the info and then they sort of just ghosted me since. I haven't, one, one said that like she actually went through to the shop cart and um, said her her credit card didn't have enough and she'd get back to me in two weeks and the other one just kind of like i wasn't even able to send a shopping like the cart to because like she just i'm like okay so what would you be interested in or what flavor and then i just haven't heard back so i don't know how to start a conversation again there yeah like I, I mean when when was the last time you messaged them um it would have been one of them was yesterday and the one the day before, but I've also been like tagging them in my stories, kind of just like nudging, like. I'm not sure I would do that. No. Cause I think that might, it might just put them off. Like if we're kind of like really pushing them off from what we do or like really trying to get out, they'll just run the other way. So I, I personally wouldn't tag them in my stories. You know, obviously it's up to you, but I would just, follow up and say, hey, we wanting to get started. Was this still of interest piece? Can you let me know as I've got other people that want to get started? Something mm -hmm. like, have you tried that? Well, I like I had that one girl with a credit card. I said, I'd, I'd leave her a spot for now, but I can't guarantee it. And then I guess like I can go back to her in a few days and say, hey, like, are you been, are you interested in joining? Because, but then like, I have a feeling that they're just going to say no, right? Like, oh no, you, you can give up the spot. <laughs> Okay. And then you say, what, do you mind me asking why you wanted me to give up the spot? Like often people will say no to me. Right. And I'll, I'll often convert a no to a yes. Like, because a no is, is not like, no, it's just not right now. Or I don't fully understand, or I don't actually trust myself to do this. So at which point I say, okay, great. Do you mind me asking why you've changed your mind? And then often they'll tell you what their objection is and you'll say, oh, and it's, it's just not a warranted objection or it's just their fear. So you need a bit of handholding. So don't, think like a no is final a no is often a yes and I'm like yes it's a no great now I can now that's the challenge now I can work out what what why it is they're not interested yeah. I agree I agree that's good one. so I have a lady that was always in almost in the coaching and then I messaged her and she was like oh I don't know if I'm gonna have time and I was like so what do you do what is your what and I said to her what are you afraid of she and she came back to me she said oh you've spoken like a true coach and I was like, I, well, that's what I want to be selling that. And I said, so what is it? And she's like, oh, I don't have time. And I said, well, there's loads of people in here who come from the different backgrounds, full-time, part-time, one-time, and we're all here. So I don't know what, and she hasn't got back to me that, but I'm going to keep pressing on her because on Friday she tagged me in like Follow Friday on Instagram. I'm like, oh, yeah. so you still are interested. Is there? It is there. And often so, people will say no because they want to see like... You know, the come back and you're like but do you mind me asking why then they're like oh this girl's like you know it kind of shows your confidence yeah. um and it gives you the ability to be that coach before you're their coach and often then they'll say like no and they'll give their reason why um and 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 i'll often say like tell me what your concerns are like just what are they and and people are like wow okay she's asking what my concerns are and they'll often give them to you so I wouldn't like Marty don't get disheartened that's quite off that's quite common with sneak peeks it happens to me and it doesn't mean that some of those girls don't enroll either on that coach sneak peek or or a month later or two months later like yeah I just I don't want to be like yeah I don't want to be too pushy I don't want to push them away but I don't also want to just drop it and leave it kind of thing so I just didn't know how to go about I would just leave so I follow up every day then probably twice then every other day and then leave it a week and then leave it two weeks and then leave it a month that's kind of how I yeah. I do it 
Um, and obviously, if you've got the mentorship start date coming up, then you can let them know that they're likely going to miss that opportunity. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, I think, oh, yes, we're up to nine minutes. Was that helpful? Like, I know we've done it before, but hopefully, like, that coupled together with the marketing calendar and being clear on what you're inviting people to, I feel like that is really going to help transition some of your businesses enormously and just really holding yourself to account on that guys and not letting it drift because I've seen all of you guys do that right but make sure you're always doing it because your business won't work unless that piece works um you know so yeah anyway right I don't know whether you guys can come onto camera Heather and Alice it would be amazing if you can then I'll just do a boomerang um, and then I'll let you guys go because we've almost been an hour. I'm just going to stop the recording. Has any